the Serengeti. Here, life is all about three things. Fighting, feeding, and fornication. This is macho country, but there's one species where the girls are on top. The spotted hyena. In the world of the spotted hyena, the female wears the trousers. The females are more aggressive, they're more dominant. It's kind of like a, like a really bad ex-girlfriend. These butch girls are about 25% bigger than the boys. But it gets really weird if you look between their legs. Hyenas have pseudopenises, which are essentially extended clitorises that are as much as seven inches long. For all intents and purposes, it looks like a penis and acts like a penis. It's definitely weird for females to have one of these. Relative to body size, this clitoris is one of the biggest in the animal kingdom. Biologists aren't entirely certain why this weird body part evolved, but we do know that the level of testosterone is extremely high in female hyenas, and the ones with the biggest penises have the most testosterone. This weird body part might cause confusion for scientists, but they're not as confused as the male hyenas who want a piece of the action. Think about putting a penis into a penis. That's not gonna happen. She has to basically fold it into her body so that the penis can insert after that. Sex for male hyenas isn't just difficult, it's downright dangerous. They don't just have to beg for sex, they have to be extremely submissive and careful around the females, otherwise they're gonna get beaten up. Males end up battered, bruised, and very limp. Female hyenas actually get erections in their penile clitorises, but the really cool thing is that they can pee just like a guy. How handy would that be? But there's a big downside to being able to pee like a man. The problem with these hyena pseudopenises is that it's a tiny little tube that the mother has to give birth through. And the first time female hyenas do this, they lose a lot of their young. In fact, 60% of the cubs of first-time mothers die of suffocation inside the pseudopenis. If you ladies think you have it bad, just remember it could be worse. You could have a penis, and you'd have to give birth through it. 